Peppa Pig, The Fire Engine. <coughs> Mummy Pig is going to the mummy's fire engine practice. Oh. It's just a good excuse for a cup of tea and a chat, says Daddy Pig. I'm meeting with the daddy's football team and having a barbecue. <laughs> That's just a lot of grown-up boys kicking a football around, says Mummy Pig. Mummy, can we see the fire engine? asks Peppa. <laughs> fire engine, says George. <laughs> yes, Peppa, I'll take you and George, says Mummy Pig. Mummy Pig drives Peppa and George to Miss Rabbit's fire station. <coughs> Hello, Peppa and George, says Miss Rabbit. Come and see the fire engine. Oh. There's a ladder for climbing, says Miss Rabbit, a hose for squirting water, and a big bell to ring. <coughs> Miss Rabbit takes them into the control room to look for fires. Wow. Peppa spots a red phone and picks it up. <laughs> Peppa, that's the fire phone, says Miss Rabbit. It's only to be used when there's a fire. <coughs> Peppa puts the phone down. <coughs> Suddenly the red phone rings. Miss Rabbit panics. <coughs> fire station, where's the fire? Says Miss Rabbit. <coughs> Can I talk to Mummy Pig, please? Asks Daddy Pig. It's an emergency. I can't find the tomato ketchup anywhere. <coughs> Miss Rabbit puts the phone down. <coughs> How many fires have you actually put out, Miss Rabbit? asks Mummy Pig. <coughs> uh, none, replies Miss Rabbit. <coughs> Not one fire, but you've got to be ready. <coughs> the red phone rings again. <coughs> Hello, Daddy Pig, says Miss Rabbit. This phone is only to be used when there's a... Fire! shouts Daddy Pig. Oh no! Oh dear! Daddy Pig's barbecue is on fire. <coughs> Mummy's to the rescue! says Miss Rabbit. <coughs> Miss Rabbit slides down the pole to the fire engine. All the mummies slide down the pole. Peppa and George hold tight and slide down the pole too. <coughs> they all get into the fire engine. Miss Rabbit puts on the siren and drives them to Peppa's house. <coughs> the fire engine arrives at Peppa's house. Stand back, daddies, shouts Miss Rabbit. Mummy Pig and Mummy Sheep hose down the barbecue. <coughs> the fire is out. <coughs> Thank you for saving us, Miss Rabbit, says Daddy Pig. No problem, it's all part of the service, says Miss Rabbit. The Mummy's Fire Engine Service, says Mummy Pig. <coughs> and now that Miss Rabbit has kindly flooded our garden, <coughs> says Daddy Pig, we can all jump up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> I love fire engines, says Peppa. <coughs> Especially when they make muddy puddles. <laughs> the end. Peppa Pig, best friends. <laughs> Once upon a time, Peppa's best friend, Susie Sheep, came to play. I have something to show you, said Susie. <laughs> Susie held up a photograph of a baby sheep. Oh. Look, it's me, <laughs> said Susie. You're not a baby, Susie, <coughs> said Peppa, shaking her head. <coughs> this is an old photo, <coughs> Susie explained. It was taken when I was a baby. <coughs> Peppa snorted. She doesn't remember Susie being a baby. That was just silly. <coughs> Susie pointed at Peppa. In the olden days, you were a baby too, <coughs> she said. I don't remember being a baby, <coughs> says Peppa. But you were, 
insisted Susie. Ask your mammy. <laughs> Peppa and Susie raced inside. Mammy Pig was working on the computer. Mammy, <laughs> cried Peppa, Susie is making up stories. <gasps> no, I'm not, <laughs> Susie said. Peppa told Mammy Pig about Susie's silly idea. I don't remember being a baby, Peppa insisted. But you were a baby, Peppa, said Mammy Pig. <coughs> Mammy Pig pulled up a picture of a baby pig on the computer. Who do you think this is, Peppa? <coughs> she asked. Peppa thought that the baby looked like her cousin, Baby Alexander. <coughs> is it Baby Alexander? <coughs> she asked. No, replied Mummy Pig. That's you as a baby, Peppa. Wow. Peppa was surprised. She had been a baby. Peppa and Susie giggled. <laughs> baby Peppa looked very cute. <sighs> George and Daddy Pig came in to see what all the fuss was about. Look, Daddy, <coughs> said Peppa. That's me as a baby. <laughs> I remember it, said Daddy Pig. That photo was taken on our first day in this house. <laughs> what do you mean? asked Peppa. <laughs> Daddy Pig told Peppa, Susie and George that they had moved into their house when Peppa was very little. <gasps> we brought all our things on top of our car, he said. <laughs> Mummy Pig put up some pictures, said Daddy Pig. Daddy Pig put up a shelf, said Mummy Pig. And Grandpa made us a lovely flower garden. Peppa and Susie went outside. There was no flower garden at this house. Why don't we have a flower garden now? Peppa asked. We used to, but Daddy Pig looked after it, Mummy Pig sighed. Uh, said Daddy Pig, embarrassed. We had the wrong kind of soil for flowers. Was Susie my friend in the olden days? asked Peppa. Daddy Pig nodded. Of course, he said. <laughs> you and Susie have always been best friends. Peppa wondered what game she played with Susie when they were little. Did we jump up and down in muddy puddles? she asked. No. Mummy Pig laughed. You were babies. You couldn't even walk yet. <coughs> what did we do when we were babies? <coughs> asked Susie. You cried. <coughs> you burped. <coughs> and you laughed, <coughs> said Mummy Pig. Susie and Peppa giggled. It must have been so silly being babies. Baby Peppa. <coughs> Baby Susie. <coughs> and then you grew into toddlers continued Mummy Pig. And you played together all the time. But where was George? Peppa asked. He was a baby in my tummy, said Mummy Pig. Peppa thought for a moment. Daddy Pig's tummy was even bigger than Mummy's. Is there a baby in there? She asked. No, Peppa, chuckled Daddy Pig. This tummy is pure muscle. <laughs> Soon, George was born, Mummy Pig said, and Granny and Grandpa Pig bought him a very special present. Can you guess what it was, Peppa? <coughs> Peppa knew just what present it had been. Mr. Dinosaur! <coughs> she cried. <coughs> grr, grr, grr. <laughs> Daddy Pig said that little Peppa and Susie liked to do everything together. They liked to jump, dance, and run around all over the place. <laughs> then one day, said Mummy Pig, you saw something amazing. A muddy puddle. You love jumping up and down in muddy puddles together, said Mummy Pig. I still love muddy puddles, cried Peppa. Me too, <laughs> cried Susie. Peppa, George and Susie looked for the biggest muddy puddle they could find and jumped right in. 
Daddy Pig brought his camera. Let's take a photo of you, Susie and George now, Peppa, he said. Yes, exclaimed Peppa, because Susie and I were best friends in the olden days and we're still best friends now. <coughs> Little or big, Peppa and Susie will always be best friends and they will always love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <coughs> the End First words with Peppa Pig. Level 3. The Scarecrow. Meet Peppa, George, Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig. Learn. Every fly has him, his, live, off, put, some, them, when. Read, shed, face, scarecrow. Wow. Grandpa Pig is in his garden with Peppa and George. <laughs> we can plant some seeds in this soil, says Grandpa Pig. Peppa and George put every seed in the soil. Every seed will turn into a plant, says Grandpa Pig. Wow. Some birds live in Grandpa Pig's garden. What a lot of birds, says Peppa. When you plant some seeds, the birds will fly down and eat some of them. <coughs> some of them, said Grandpa Pig. The birds eat my seeds every time I put them in the soil. Fly away. The birds did not fly away. Oh. We need a plan to stop them. <coughs> Grandpa Pig went to his shed. Peppa and George went with him. <coughs> Grandpa Pig has a plan, <coughs> said Granny Pig. Oh. I will stop them. When the birds see my plan, they will not want to live in my garden. Every bird will fly away when they see it, said Grandpa Pig. Oh. Peppa had two sticks and George had some cloth. <laughs> they ran out of Grandpa Pig's shed and went back to his garden. Grandpa Pig put the sticks into a cross. He put the cloth on top. Wow. Will this make the birds fly away, <laughs> said Peppa. Yes, every bird will fly away when they see him, said Grandpa Pig. Oh. Grandpa Pig has a scarecrow, said Peppa. <coughs> Peppa and George put a face on him. He has a pretty face, <coughs> said Peppa. Wow. The birds will fly away when they see him, said Grandpa Pig. The birds did not fly away. I think they like him, said Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Granny has a plan too, said Peppa. The birds can eat some of the seeds I have put in the tree, said Granny Pig. <laughs> Granny Pig's plan has worked. The birds ate the seeds Granny Pig had put in the tree. They did not eat Grandpa Pig's seeds. Now all of the birds in the scarecrow can live in the garden, said Peppa. <laughs> the End First words with Peppa Pig. Level 5. The Thunderstorm. Meet Peppa, George, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig. 
<laughs> Learn about fall far full got laugh light never only read thunderstorm sky rain water teddy shoes tickle laugh <laughs> Peppa and George were having tea in the garden the sky was light blue and the sun was hot Peppa George come in now the sky is full of clouds there is about to be a thunderstorm said mummy pig oh. Peppa and George ran into the house <laughs> my arms were full so I forgot about Teddy said Peppa <sighs> I will get Teddy. The sky is full of clouds, but it is not far to go, said Daddy Pig. <laughs> Do not get wet. The rain will fall soon, said Mummy Pig. I never get wet, said Daddy Pig. <whistles> the sky was not light blue for long. Soon it was dark and the rain began to fall. Daddy Pig got wet, but he got Teddy too. It is far too wet to be out there. My shoes are full of water, said Daddy Pig. <laughs> Here is Teddy. He got a bit wet, said Daddy Pig. Oh, oh Teddy, it was far too wet in the rain, said Peppa. It's only a bit of water, said Mummy Pig. He got a cloth and soon Teddy was not wet. Hooray! What about me, said Daddy Pig. I am far too wet. My shoes are full of water. You said you never get wet, said Mummy Pig. Daddy Pig began to laugh. <laughs> what are you laughing about, asked Mummy Pig. Stop! It tickles, he said. <laughs> you can laugh, but we will not stop, said Peppa. <laughs> Just then, there was a flash of light in the sky. <laughs> what was that light? asked Peppa. <laughs> it was only the thunderstorm, said Mummy Pig. <laughs> it was only the thunderstorm, said Mummy Pig. Soon it will go far away and there will be only light blue sky left. The sky may be full of clouds and the rain may be falling out there, but we will never get wet in here, said Daddy Pig. A drop of water began to fall from the roof. Mummy Pig began to laugh. You said it will never get wet in here, Daddy. Daddy Pig laughed. I was wrong. <laughs> Daddy Pig got a bucket for the drop of water. Hooray! When will the sky be light blue again? <coughs> asked Peppa. Soon. <coughs> Thunderstorms never last long, said Mummy Pig. Soon the thunderstorm was far away. The sun was back and the sky was light blue again. Best of all, the thunderstorm had left the garden full of mud. <laughs> Peppa laughed and jumped about in a big spot of mud. This is the only bit about thunderstorms I like, said Peppa. Peppa, George, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig all began to laugh. What fun! The end. First words with Peppa Pig. Level 5. Tidying up. Meet Peppa, George, 
Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig. <laughs> Learn, better, carry, clean, done, draw, hold, keep, kind, long, much, shall, together. Read, paper, dinosaur. Peppa and George like to play together. They have so much fun. <laughs> One day, they were playing dolls and dinosaurs. You hold Mr. Dinosaur and I shall hold my doll, said Peppa. Dinosaur, said George. <laughs> dolls and dinosaurs was fun. But Peppa and George soon wanted to play with lots of other toys. They made a lot of mess. Oh no! There were books to read, paper to draw on, and toys to play with all around the room. There is so much mess in this room, we had better clean up, said Daddy Pig. But we want to carry on playing together, said Peppa. The room will look much better once the cleaning is done. It will not take long, said Daddy Pig. <laughs> what kind of game is this? We need to clean up this room, said Mummy Pig. But George and I want to carry on playing together, said Peppa. Hold on, Peppa, said Mummy Pig. We shall all clean up together. When it is done, we can play together. <laughs> Peppa and I shall clean up Peppa's toys together. Daddy and George can carry the rest to the toy basket together, said Mummy Pig. We will win, said Peppa. <laughs> I think it will be a draw, said Daddy Pig. <laughs> they all began to clean up. Wow. They put all kinds of toys into the toy basket. Keep going, Peppa. Tidy all of your toys and we will be done, said Mummy Pig. I want to win. I do not want to draw, said Peppa. Daddy Pig found George's dinosaur book. Shall we read this together, George, he said. <laughs> It is very kind of you to read to George, but you had better keep going, Daddy. We are not done yet, said Mummy Pig. Keep going, we will soon be done, said Mummy Pig. Together, they put the last toys in the toy basket. Peppa and George's race was a draw. Now the room was clean and tidy. That is much better. It did not take long when we worked together said Mummy Pig. I hope you will keep it clean for a long time, said Daddy Pig. <laughs> we shall, said Peppa. It was kind of you to help us clean up. Shall we draw on paper together now, George? asked Peppa. <laughs> dinosaur, said George. <laughs> OK, we shall play dolls and dinosaurs. It is a fun kind of game. We had better find my doll and Mr. Dinosaur, said Peppa. Peppa and George started to get all kinds of toys out of the toy basket. Oh. Hold on, said Daddy Pig. But it was too late. <laughs> you did not keep the room clean for long, said Mummy Pig. We shall have so much fun cleaning up together again, said Peppa. <laughs> the end. Read it yourself with Peppa Pig. Camping trip. Peppa George, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are going on holiday. Look, says Peppa, here's Daddy. 
Hooray, says Mummy. And look, he has a camper van. They all jump in the camper van. Off we go, says Daddy. <laughs> We're going on a holiday, sings Peppa. We are going on a holiday in a camper van. <laughs> but Daddy Pig is lost. Along comes Grandad Dog. Can you help us? Asked Peppa. We are lost. Have you looked at your sat-nav? Asked Grandad Dog. What is a sat-nav? Asked Daddy Pig. A sat-nav helps you find your way. Says Grandad Dog. Wow. He looks in the camper van and finds a sat-nav for Daddy. The sat-nav tells Daddy the way to go. We're going on a holiday, sings Peppa. We're going on a holiday in a camper van. <laughs> but the camper van is out of oil. Daddy Pig looks for the engine, but he cannot find it. Along comes Mummy Sheep. Can you help us? asks Peppa. We cannot find our engine. <sighs> Mummy Sheep finds the engine in the back of the camper van. Daddy Pig puts oil in the engine and off they go. Look, says Mummy Pig, we are here. Hooray, says Peppa. Time for bed, says Mummy Pig. But what about our beds, asks Peppa. Our beds are back at home. Just look here. Daddy Pig tells Peppa, and he presses a big button. <laughs> Out comes a big bed for Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig. Wow. Daddy Pig presses a little button. <gasps> and here are your beds, he says. <laughs> this time, two little beds come out for Peppa and George. George and Peppa jump into the little beds. I like this camper van, says Peppa. It is just like home. Good night, says the satnav. Good night, says Peppa. The end. Peppa Pig, the castle. Peppa and George were once on their way to see an old castle. They were going to walk round the castle. Once we get there, we will walk right round the castle and see it all, said Daddy Pig. <laughs> Daddy Pig had a map to find the old castle. Wow. The old castle is after this big round hill, he said. The old castle was not after the big round hill. Can you see an old castle? asked Mummy Pig. Not yet, said Daddy Pig. We need to turn left after this tree. We will see it once we go past the tree. The old castle was not past the tree. How far is the castle from here, Mummy? asked Peppa. Do not ask me, ask Daddy. He has got the map, said Mummy Pig. Not far, said Daddy Pig. We need to turn right after this round pond. <laughs> the old castle was not after the round pond. How far is it from here, Daddy? asked Mummy Pig. I think this is an old map, said Daddy Pig. I will stop the car and ask Grandpa Pig, said Mummy Pig. The old castle is just round the corner from you, said Grandpa Pig. Just round the corner, said Mummy Pig. 
Turn right just after the tree, and then left after the pond. You can walk there if you like, said Grandpa Pig. Wow. Once Peppa and George had got to the castle, they went for a walk round it. <laughs> How old is the castle? asked Peppa. It is an old castle, Peppa, said Daddy Pig. I will tell you as we walk round it. After a walk round the castle, Peppa and George were at the top. There was a telescope up there. I have two coins. Peppa can look in the telescope once, and George can look at once too, said Daddy Pig. George had a look. How far can you see? asked Peppa. Far, said George. Peppa had a look. How far can you see, Peppa? asked Daddy Pig. I can see as far as a car. And I can see Grandpa Pig from here, said Peppa. Hooray! Hello, Grandpa Pig. Peppa can see you in the telescope, said Mummy Pig. Hello. Once you have had a walk round, I will tell you how to get home, said Grandpa Pig. It will be easy to get back from the old castle. Daddy has got his map said Mummy Pig. Good luck! Daddy Pig's map is as old as a castle, said Grandpa Pig. <laughs> the End Peppa Pig Peppa Goes Skiing it is a lovely snowy day, and Peppa's family are going skiing. First, they have to take a ski lift all the way to the top of Snowy Mountain. Oh, that looks a bit high, says Daddy Pig. Daddy Pig does not like heights. Everyone gets on the ski lift. This is fun, calls Peppa, and she sings a little song. In the air, in a chair, snow is falling everywhere. <laughs> Daddy Pig does not think it's fun. He does not like the way the ski lift clunks and clanks. At the top of Snowy Mountain, Daddy Pig falls out of his chair and into the snow. Are you all right, Daddy? <laughs> cries Peppa. <laughs> yes, Peppa, says Daddy Pig. Let's get you to your skiing lesson. Madame Gazelle starts the ski lesson. Peppa, George and all their friends learn how to start and stop. Whee! Skiing is fun, cries Peppa, as they go down the baby slope. Can we see you ski now, Madame Gazelle? asked Peppa. Oh, I don't know, replies Madame Gazelle. Please, everyone cries. Very well, says Madame Gazelle. Voila! Madame Gazelle does a magnificent ski jump, and everyone claps and cheers. That was amazing, says Peppa. Thank you, says Madame Gazelle. I was the world champion at skiing and I won this cup. Ooh, everyone says. Which mummy or daddy would like a go, asks Madame Gazelle. I will, says Mummy Pig. Where does this path lead? Down the mountain, cries Madame Gazelle. Help! Where are the pigs? Shouts Mummy Pig. She can't stop, cries Daddy Pig. Let's catch up with her in the coach. Mummy Pig 
skis down the mountain, along the road and past the shop. <coughs> Stand back! <coughs> cries Mummy Pig. She even does a loop-the-loop at top speed. Finally, everyone catches up with Mummy Pig. <laughs> she has crashed straight into a snowdrift. You're a walking, talking snowman, Mummy, <laughs>, laughs Peppa. <laughs> I have never seen such amazing skiing, says Madame Gazelle. This cup belongs to you now. <laughs> Everyone cheers as Madame Gazelle presents Mummy Pig with her world champion cup. <laughs> Hooray, says Peppa. <laughs> My mummy is a skiing champion! The end. Peppa Pig. Merry Christmas, Peppa. It is Christmas Day. Peppa and her family are opening their presents. Peppa unwraps a toy car. George unwraps a toy aeroplane. Hooray! They cheer. <laughs> Vroom! Daddy Pig reminds them to be careful when playing. But Peppa is too excited. She trips and bumps her arm. Ow! Peppa says she is very hurt. <coughs> Thankfully, Mummy Pig knows just who to call. Dr. Brown Bear. <coughs> Dr. Brown Bear is sitting at his desk. A bumped arm, you say? And on Christmas Day? I'll be right there, Dr. Brown Bear says. Dr. Brown Bear arrives at Peppa's house. Can you wiggle your fingers? He asks Peppa. Peppa can. That's very good, Dr. Brown Bear says. But just to be safe, we'll take a trip to the hospital. <coughs> at the hospital, Dr. Brown Bear takes Peppa to see Miss Rabbit. Miss Rabbit is the nurse. Peppa looks around. She sees lots of Christmas decorations. Ooh, Miss Rabbit, the hospital is all Christmassy, Peppa says. Yes, Miss Rabbit replies. Looks lovely, doesn't it? Miss Rabbit takes a picture of Peppa's arm with the X-ray. An X-ray shows her the bones inside Peppa's body. The X-ray shows your arm will be fine, Miss Rabbit announces. And for being brave, you get a sticker. <coughs> Hooray, Peppa cheers. Peppa loves stickers. <coughs> Peppa walks out of Miss Rabbit's office. She sees a bed with Pedro Pony in it. Pedro Pony has bumped his leg. He has a sticker too, but Pedro looks sad. I'm sad because Father Christmas hasn't come, <laughs> says Pedro Pony. Peppa is alarmed. That means Pedro hasn't gotten a Christmas present. <laughs> then Peppa and Pedro hear a voice in the hallway. Ho, 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 the voice says. It's Father Christmas. <laughs> I'm here with Pedro's Christmas present, Father Christmas says. Thank you, Father Christmas, Pedro says. I wonder what it is. <laughs> he unwraps the present. It is a toy boat. Pedro loves his present. Sorry I'm a bit late. I got stuck in a chimney. Father Christmas laughs. Thank you, Miss Rabbit, for looking after everyone at Christmas time. 
Peppa loves Christmas, even if it's at the hospital. Merry Christmas! Ho 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 ho! The end. Peppa goes swimming. <laughs> it's a lovely sunny day, and Peppa and her family are at the swimming pool. Peppa George, let Daddy put on your armbands, snorts Mummy Pig. Today is George's first time at the pool, and he's a bit scared of getting in. Why don't you just put one foot in the water, suggests Daddy Pig. Maybe George should try both feet at the same time, says Mummy Pig. Splash! Mummy Pig convinces George to jump into the water, and he loves it. <laughs> Shouts George happily. <laughs> well done, George, snorts Daddy Pig. Rebecca Rabbit, her brother Richard, and their mother arrive at the pool too. Hello everyone, cries Rebecca. Squeak, squeak, says Richard. Richard, hold on to this float so you can practice kicking your legs, says Miss Rabbit. George, would you like to try kicking your legs too, asks Mummy Pig. <laughs> Giggles George. Ho oh, oh. ho! Very good, laughs Daddy Pig. But please try not to splash. Big children don't splash, asks Peppa. Big children are very good at swimming, declares Peppa. When George and Richard are older, they will be able to swim like us, won't they, Rebecca? Yes, says Rebecca, as she watches the boys kick and splash. Peppa and Rebecca race each other up and down the pool with their swimming armbands on. They are having lots of fun swimming and splashing in the water. Oops! Richard has dropped his toy watering can into the pool. Mummy, ma! cries Richard. Sorry, Richard, I can't reach it. It's too far down, says Miss Rabbit. Luckily, Daddy Pig is an excellent swimmer. He takes off his glasses and dives down to get it. <laughs> there you go, snorts Daddy Pig, <coughs> says Richard. Well done, Daddy, says Mammy Pig. Yes, thank you, Daddy Pig, says Miss Rabbit. Oh dear, Richard is so happy to have his watering can back that he splashes Daddy Pig with water. <laughs> George laughs. What a silly little piggy and rabbit. Everyone has had a fun day at the swimming pool. The end. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Peppa goes to the cinema. Peppa and George are going to see this super potato movie at the cinema. Get your super potatoes here, shouts Mr. Fox. Mr. Fox's stall is full of toys. There are carrots, bananas and lots of potatoes. Eee, says Peppa. Can we get a super potato please, Daddy? Daddy Pig picks up a super potato. Is it made of plastic? <laughs> Better than that, says Mr. Fox. It's made of potato. 
Well, in that case, I'll have two, please, says Daddy Pig. Hooray! Here's Peppa. Super Potato to the rescue! Peppa goes inside the cinema. She has spotted her friend, Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie, says Peppa. Look, I've got Super Potato. I've got him too, <laughs> says Susie. Everyone, please take your seats, says Miss Rabbit. The film is about to start. The cinema is big and dark. Peppa's seat is right next to Rebecca Rabbit. Hello, Rebecca, says Peppa. I've got Super Potato. I've got Mrs. Carrot, says Rebecca. Shh, whispers Mummy Pig. The film is about to start. After a little while, Peppa asks Mummy Pig to take her to the toilet. Is it in here? asks Peppa, opening a door. It is not the toilet. This is the projector. It's the machine that shows the film, says Miss Rabbit. Wow, says Peppa. You get to watch Super Potato all day. Peppa and Mummy Pig sit back down. The film is getting very exciting. Super Potato has rescued Mrs. Carrot, <laughs> whispered Susie. At the end, there is an extra surprise. The stars of the film walk on the stage. I want to be Super Potato when I grow up, <laughs> sighs Peppa. <sighs> Peppa waves at Super Potato. Show us how you fly. <laughs> Super Potato jumps off the stage and whizzes up into the air. Remember, children, he says, don't try this at home. <laughs> oh dear, Super Potato is stuck in the cinema ceiling. <laughs> Miss Rabbit flies her helicopter over the cinema. Look, shouts Mummy Pig. Miss Rabbit is lifting Super Potato out. Super Potato has been rescued. Miss Rabbit is a hero. When I grow up, I want to be Miss Rabbit. Cheers, Peppa. Hip hip hooray! The end. Hi kids, did you have fun watching this video? Then like and subscribe for more!